The makeup for me was amazing. It was kind of ACDC meets Day of the Dead meets Rapa Nui. It was quite extraordinary. You know my maxim is to choose well, buy less, choose well. And I wanted women to dress as if they were important because women in the past have been so powerful and I don't want them to lose that power. And the feminists don't give women credit for the influence they've had. What I say is, in generally speaking, there are exceptions, but generally speaking, men have been the pioneers, they've gone too far, and women have been the civilizers, and they have educated their children, and better than anything, they created the salon where they supported real talent and ideas. Culture is the antidote to everything that's going wrong. And I want women not to lose their nerve and to hold on to their really great civilizing values and not just get sucked up into this button pressing cipher world. You know, I mean, we've got to keep our humanity and we've got to hold tight in face of the problems we face. And I wanted women to dress as if they were important. Forget about sex, just dress to be important. You'll look more sexy than you've ever looked in your life. I'm English, I've always adored um, Vivian. I mean, it's almost like she can do no wrong for me. I did enjoy the collection, particularly, again, there, there were new takes on old classics. I think that, um, as surprising as this may seem, there were things that one could really use in your new classics or your new Puritan stories, aside from all of the, you know, the, the wacky stuff. And I think that juxtaposition of the, the, the outrage of the makeup and the almost near classicism of the clothes was perfect. Well, I'm 
I'm amazed that there are so many designers and somebody was just saying that they were had done the makeup at the Thierry Moogler show and I said well who started that again I mean people are starting things all the time it's not like it's going there's like more and more as far as I can see you know I might read fashion magazines if there were 10 of them but I'm not going to look at them when there's hundreds filling all that stuff with whatever you know I can't be bothered it's like a big global soup I don't read fashion magazines and I and I spend my time trying to understand the world I live in and you have to understand the past to know anything about where we are now and what it's possible to do been a reader and an art lover and if you really want to invest in you know get a life go to the art gallery you only get out what you put in if you just suck things up you don't get anything you have to go where the ideas are I really always want to talk about climate change, but you can't keep talking about it. So I just sort of went at an angle and called my woman Worldwide Woman because fashion is, um, the influences come from everywhere now. In our part of the world, you can wear anything you want.